fuck the king. And fuck the queen. And fuck drinking water instead of wine. My chicken is really good. But I keep eating my beard with it. And there's a pine cone shoved up my ass. Are you happy, YouTube? Are you happy? What's up, Hans fam? We're continuing this Game of Thrones series with none other than the Hound himself. I disliked his character, but grew to love him and his gruff ways with time. Poor dude just got fucked over by his brother, man. If you haven't already, please subscribe to see more of these Game of Thrones characters as they go live, and let's get started. So obviously, not everyone is going to have a shaved head like I do. That's kind of the whole reason why I did want to do the Hound, though, because I want to take advantage of my fancy little shaved head whenever I can. So, you could always throw a bald cap on, and then if you do have kind of short, dark hair, like my hair would work as well for it, you can pretty much just cut a slit at the top of the bald cap and pull your hair through just to kind of have it sparse, especially sparse on the side. We're going to make all burned and fucked up. Or, if you have too short of hair, it's not dark, it's too long, whatever it may be, put a bald cap on, and then you can always just get fake hair itself and glue that onto the bald cap. So I found a few good reference pictures and finally settled on the more red and irritated burn like in this photo. For his burn side, we shall be using gelatin. You could use the flesh tone like I am or even clear. I don't want my hair getting mixed in, so up it goes too. In order to use the gel, you need to melt it in a hot bath or a few second increments in the microwave. Always use caution though because it will be very hot. Using a palette knife, I am starting to put little blobs of gel onto my skin. Notice that every time I do so, I make sure to blend out the edges so I don't get any unnatural drip looking pieces. I learned that the hard way in my Alice look. She had quite a few drip pieces that just didn't look very natural. This is just the base of the burn, but we still want to make it as textured as possible since the burned skin is very scarred up. His ear and eyebrow are also included in the burn, so I'm really building those up because the gel starts to get a little thicker as it cools off. So we're gonna use that to our advantage to create the larger hunks of flesh. Sometimes this product does have a little bit of a learning curve when you're messing with it, just like I talked about earlier with my Alice look. So just keep moving it around as the gel does start to cool because if you don't, it will kind of make little shapes you don't want it to, and we want it to be nice and bumpy and blended together. This is also <laughs> my face when I realized that I resembled a large, fleshy booger. Mm. You may have to melt your gel down again. I did a couple times just so that it was nice and warm for me to work with, and when you're happy with it, use a stippling sponge to blend the texture into your skin. It'll also be a bit sticky and shiny still, so set it with a generous amount of powder. With a cream-based foundation, even out your skin tone with downward buffing motions and a dense brush. You could even shear this down a bit, just so it looks a little more realistic instead of a blank-ass slate like how I made my face. Also, only put foundation on the parts of the scar that are blending now into your skin. This palette, for real, is my new obsession for special effects looks because the paint goes down so sheer and you can really build it up if need be. Taking this mauve color and a little wedge sponge, we want to lightly put this all over the burn, keeping most of the color towards the middle. This is where most of the scar tissue would be, so most of the color would be there too. Switching gears now to these red tones, it's time to really make our gel work come to life. I'm mainly putting the pigment under these bumps we created and tapping out the paint if it goes on too strong to blend it out. You can use a detail brush for this or for larger areas. Use that same wedge sponge or even a fluffy style brush to add in those darker areas of color. You don't need to put red all over the burn, mainly keep it to where the thicker parts of it would be. Like his whole ear is melded into his skin. So that's definitely going to have a lot of redness and irritation all around it. Putting the actual prosthetic down and making it 3D itself on our skin will obviously make the burn pop out alone, but make sure to think of the paint job as enhancing the work that you had put down. Keep it light around the edges of the burn because we want there to be a smooth transition from our skin to the burn. 
You can even use the technique I'd used in my last video where you pull out little holes and patches in the wedge sponge and add a bit more of that spotty color with mauve to blend the burn even more to your skin. I also added just a little bit of white for highlights kind of on the high points of the burns but you should probably do this with foundation color. I also didn't want to put alcohol paints inside my ear because that does not sound like a blast and a half but to have a cohesive look a red cream paint did go inside all deep like. Melt's Rust Stack has this bomb ass matte brown called Rot. So we're gonna take that and a new reference picture more focused on the hound's features and we're just gonna sketch out his wrinkles. He's a pretty angry dude, pretty much all the time, so make his brow lines super intense. I also never quite realized how deep set his laugh lines are too. Those bad boys will really help sell the look. Now to just blend these out a bit, I'm switching to a larger brush. These shadows are super pigmented, so you don't need to add any extra color to get the full effect. His nose holes are also slightly larger than mine, so I added that in to using the same eyeshadow. Darken up his eye bags and pay close attention to his eye shape. They go downward quite a bit and have a lot of shadow casting down from the brow bone area. His eyes are a bit sunken in, especially from the large burn scar on the one side. I even contoured my nose a little bit to make it look a little more manly. Alright, so with the beard. I was going to sketch it out and just start with a base color of eyeshadow, but I quickly realized that my face is a bit too short and round, unlike his being long and large. To even somewhat resemble him, I knew I had to do something different. I whipped out a couple of cheap wigs I had and cut some strands off of those. Then from that, cut teeny tiny little hairs. If you have a dark brown wig to go with that, perfect, but I had to mix this brown and black to get the desired look. I first applied Prosade to my face and then adhered the beard hairs where I wanted them. You could also use spirit gum or latex instead, whatever you prefer. I can't believe I'm fucking trimming a mustache on my face. You can work in small patches at a time and continue this process of adding more of the hairs as you go to get a long and thick beard. I had to go pick up Daniel in this look as well from work, which was pretty funny. He also has some like neck hair because he is really hairy as well, so add that in. He only has one eyebrow, which is very thick, unlike mine, which are sparse pieces of poop. So just create one of those. Taking that brown eyeshadow around the perimeter of the face, we're gonna add a bit of dirt and grime, because most of the characters kind of have some dirt on their face. And we are also gonna stipple some more of that mauve on the cheeks to show variations in the skin tone. We want some of those blood vessels popping forth and stuff. Added a little color on my lip piercing so people don't freak the fuck out. And then popped in some brown contacts. As for the hair, I took a small section and pinned it back since I needed it to be parted the proper way and used this dirty styling cream to grease and grunge up my hair. Including the few tendrils that hang over his burn. You can even hairspray these to completely stay in place. And that, you guys, is the whole look. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I definitely was pretty down with being the hound for the day. <laughs> Please subscribe so you can see the other Game of Thrones characters I have coming up in this series. I can't wait to show you guys what I have for you all. And I will just see you guys in the next video. Bye. <laughs> Tear into it. <laughs> I don't even look like a hound. I just look like a fucking wannabe Jon Snow.